Welcome back to Cleveland on the Rocks. Hey, Liza and Burnbar. And I'm Matt. And that's Terrence. And it's Friday, so we hope you're having a great Friday out there and ready to mix up a super cool new drink. So, we got a new drink that Terrence calls... Bourbon Cider Smash. Bourbon Cider Smash. Because we smash some bourbon, and that's what we do. And I should have got the flamethrower out to burn this up. So you tell them what the first ingredient is. I'm going to get us a flamethrower so I can start We're up get started blazing with the stuff. early times bourbon. Early times, Barbin. Four ounces. Yes. That sounds utterly fantastic, Terrence. So while he's pouring up that, what I'm going to do is, I thought that it would be a good idea for me to light some cinnamon on fire. And that way, we can put it in our glass, and it will hopefully scent up the glass a little bit. You ready? So we're about to light us up some cinnamon. Does burnt cinnamon taste better than cinnamon cinnamon? All right, we are done with the early times. Ooh. Oh yeah, there it goes. And you see, and you get your cinnamon a little toasty. Next and you up, put it all up in your glass. Ooh. We're going to go with four ounces of the apple cider. Four ounces of apple cider, because we need some apple cider in our lives. Burnt cinnamon. This seems like one of my better ideas. Oh, there you go. Now it's on total on fire. So I feel like we should have put something on top of these to keep the smoke in it. I don't know that I have anything other than my hand. Oh, yeah. That's lit up pretty white right there. All right. Oh, my Let's gosh. Go. Let me just tell you, the aroma down here smells like a beautiful cinnamon tree. Oh, that smells wonderful. <laughs> that smells um, so good. <laughs> Very so wonderful for the holidays. Right? So what do we got next? Next we have the lemon, lemon juice. Lemon juice. We're going to go with a uh, teaspoon. Teaspoon of lemon juice. And why, why do we do the teaspoon of lemon juice? To even the out the apple? Lemon juice gives it a little bit of that tartiness. Okay. Kind of offsets the bourbon. And it'll balance out that apple. That sounds absolutely fantastic. That's a, that's a lot of lemon juice. Alright. Yeah, just half of it. Okay. So, so now you got, got that. you got everything up in there? Nope. What are you missing? Next, we have honey. the bone-in. Oh, you got the honey? Honey what? syrup. Because we like honey syrup. That'll sweeten it up a little bit, you know. Yeah, there you go. So how much of this are you supposed to put We're in there, Terrence? We're going to go with an ounce and a half. Oun ounce and a half? Yes. Oh, all right. That's a lot. So we got our ounce and a half coming of this bone-in honey syrup. Because honey syrup always makes your drinks like super cool. I was just using this this weekend, making it with pineapple juice. It was fantastic. All right. Next, bourbon. We're, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon in here. Next. I think you should do that on top of the drink when it's done, when okay. you pour it. Okay. Okay. We'll do that. So we're gonna do some. Uh, you right, got man. early times in here already? You want to shake it up? I sure do. Shock. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Shake it. Like a Polaroid picture? Yeah. All right. Take it up. Let's, so, uh, let's see this pour here. Over our crisp up cinnamon stick. Oh, wow. It's starting to come out of there a lot more now. That's looking beautiful. It does look pretty beautiful. Okay. So what is our garnish that you got set up for us here, Terrence? We have Fuji apples. Fuji apples. With cinnamon sprinkled on top. Straight out of Fuji. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. This smells like super good. Okay. And then that is what your finished now, product look at looks this. like. Look at this. Yeah. You can make this at home with a few simple ingredients. Super easy. Really easy. Throw it together, your friends will be like, right. hmm. Next. What we got next? Like I said, gonna do a little sprinkle. Yeah, sprinkle some cinnamon on there just to give it a little fancy kick of some cinnamon in there. Since I burnt our cinnamon sticks. Alright. Sounds great. Alright, so. Let's see what we got here, Terrence. What do we got? I feel like, hmm. Oh wow, that smells pretty uh, crispy. That would be for me burning it. Right. But uh, yeah, you get a definite apple kick in here. That smells oh, wow. super good. Oh wow, that smells wonderful. Yeah, it's gonna be good. You ready? Yeah. All right, Terrence, let's do this. Can't wait. Cheers to you guys. Cheers, Cheers. to Friday. I hope you guys have a safe weekend. Oh dang, that's good. Oh. I'll drink it all day. That's super good. Are we not supposed to eat the apple? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Dude, that's yeah. really good. I like it. 
That's fantastic. Mm-hmm. We're going super good. I'm really getting kind of that burnt cinnamon now. <laughs> I you know, know, right? Like, I think that was a great idea. I think so, too. I should have set that up before the video, so I'm not sitting here searching for the torch down there. But Easy yeah. Easy drink. Very flavorful. I mean, perfect for the holidays. Like a nice little refreshing smoked cinnamon over a cinnamon honey apple. Dude, it's really good. And you got your early times kick in there, so... You oh, got your lightly smoked uh, bourbon, which is good. Early time is super good. You can get it up at the store for like 20 bucks. Super good. Super, super good. I think, what do you think uh, with the early times? I like early times. It blends really well. It does. It blends down with stuff like apples and it's stuff. It's not like, it doesn't overpower all the flavors. It's like a perfect balance mm -hmm. of like. It accents them well. Like a bourbon and like the apple. Right. Yeah, this is really good. But, I'm not uh, getting an, enough of uh, the lemon, but I think that just kind of sweetens it a little. No, I think the lemon's supposed like to take tardy, away from like the... Like a tartiness. Uh, it's supposed to take away from the smoke from the bourbon and okay. even it down, so that way you get more of the apple taste in it. And that's what the cinnamon does, too. It kind of balances it out. Super good. I like it. I would drink these. I don't know that I could drink a lot of these. It's kind of sweet. Oh. But uh, really, really good drink. I like it. This would be a good one to serve at your uh, holiday party with the family. Pour them down one of these. They'll be like, oh, this is really good. It goes and down drinking easy. Bourbon. Yeah. Super easy. Mm hmm No burn. No, not at all. But, uh, you know, it's Friday, so I really hope you guys are mixing out something up there. It's a hoo ha Mixing something up out there. Why don't you guys let us know what you guys are mixing up so we can try that, too, because I feel like you guys got some good ideas. We got some good ideas. Try them out. Let me know what you guys think. Mix this up. Super easy. Uh, yeah, I mean, everything will be on there on the screen so you guys will know exactly what to put in here to make it taste exactly like what we have. So, really, really cool. Um, like we tell you in other videos, I really hope you guys are out there drinking, but I hope you're not driving. So don't drink and drive. Do the thing. Get home safe. Call an Uber. Call your mom. And uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe on Instagram, YouTube, TikToks, and the Facebooks. Do them all. Because we appreciate it and it helps the channel. And like you know, we just got over a thousand subscribers. So that video came out earlier this week. Make sure you check that one out. And uh, if you guys want to, go get you a shirt, man. It looks super cool. Merchandise. All your friends will like it. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time.